How's it going everybody? Driver53 here and today I want to go over my top five favorite maps in the United States that are based on real life locations. Yeah, so the map maker took an image of Google Earth and said this is what I want my map to look like, like almost one for one. And it's really, really awesome to see exactly how they made the outlines of the fields match up as best they can. Sometimes when putting in an extra cell point or something like that, they're a little bit off, but the farmyards look really, really similar. The um, roads are almost identical on these maps. They've done an amazing job. Um, sometimes there's something a little bit off with them, but we'll go into each one of these in a little bit more detail. But these maps, if you like really realistic maps, these are the top five US maps that I highly recommend. And they're all available on console. That's the other thing about this. I'm a console player. I play on exclusively PlayStation 4 right now. So Xbox, PlayStation, you guys are going to be able to have these maps. I'm not looking at stuff that's only available on PC. I'm a console player. And I wanted to make this just for you guys, for all of us in the console community. So let's, um, let's jump into it. The first one we're going to take a look at is in Oregon. So let's head on over there. So the first map that I want to go over today is Lone Oak Farm. Now this was originally done in FS17 by Bullet Bill, and then Oxygen Davin got permission to bring it over to FS19 and did an amazing, amazing job. Um, all the little bitty bits of detail. So I'm going to show you a couple of different screenshots here taken by Oxygen David for the Mod Hub. Um, incredible detail here on this map, and. Another thing that I want to show you is we're going to go out here to the main, the entrance, okay, to the main driveway. And it's it's so awesome to be able to see this. This is the amount of detail that Oxygen, David, and Bullet Bill put into this map. So you see this mailbox right here, right? Now you come out here, and you're going to stand, oh, let's say right about here, all right? Now I'm going to show you a screenshot, and this is taken from Google Earth, okay? So check this out. Yeah, look at that. The detail on the house. You've got the tree up in the right-hand corner. You can see the buildings here. I mean, it's not exactly because this is set a little bit farther back in the real-life location, but, oh my goodness, this is so awesome. So, so awesome. Um, you know, unfortunately, we're playing on a 2x map right now, um, and what that means is it's 2 kilometers by 2 kilometers. So, this real-life location is probably a little bit bigger than this, um, but still did an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal job, you know, and I'm going to show you the two PDAs side by side now. All right. So here's the one on the left. This is the PDA from the game. All right. Now the one on the right, this is real world. Look how close those are. I mean, there are a few different points kind of on the corners where it doesn't quite match up, but I mean, all the outlines of the fields. I mean, it's so, so similar. It, it's phenomenal that a map maker is able to come in here and copy this. I'm like, even the roads, look at the roads, the way that they are over on the um, the east side of the maps. That highway follows exactly the way that it should. So really, really awesome here. I highly, highly recommend um, downloading this map, having a play, checking it out, and... I mean, it's, it's a really, really good one for animals. There's a ton of animals around. You know, actually, let's go ahead and take a fly over here really, really quickly. So here's the main farm right here. Really, really cool. You've got chickens here. You've got cows here. You've got a spot for to make silage. You've got a slurry pit. You've got some more um, pastures. You've got farms down in here. Over here, you've got some um, pigs. you got a pig farm if you want that. Really big fields if you really want them. Um, here's the tree that's out here by itself, Lone Oak. You know, you can combine these fields together, whatever you'd like to do. Lots and lots of space here to be able to do some really, really cool stuff. Um, here's that highway that I was telling you about right through here. Really, really awesome. Um, you've got a spot up over here for some sheep. So really, really cool. Um, and then uh, your store, your main store is going to be right here. It is a case store. It does sell other stuff too. Um, you got a BGA sitting over here, and then you have lots and lots of storage space for silage. Um, and then you uh, keep coming around here, and um, you're going to make a turn here on this road. And if you go up this way, it's going to take you right back to your main farm, which is right there. So it's it's pretty easy to get around. Uh, you got a little bit of a challenge here. There's no real direct road. You kind of have to like go left or right, kind of on like back roads. 
to be able to get over to this other side. But it's all good. I mean, there's no highway, but it's all good. It's easy to get there. Um, big, big fields that take a while to harvest. They really, really do. So once again, highly recommend this map. But um, let's head a little bit east now. Um, let's go to Montana. So next on the list is Welker Farms. So Welker Farms is very, very similar to real life. Um, it is absolutely amazing how well they've been able to do this. And this is a map that was made by Mapper's Paradise. Now, this isn't the only one that Mapper's Paradise has done on this list. They are really, really good at doing the realistic maps. Um, they work really, really well with the owners of these properties to, to make them as realistic as possible. I mean, you can see some equipment setting out here. Really, really awesome. Um, there's some other equipment that we're going to do in a later video that I'm going to show off. Um, it's it's phenomenal, phenomenal equipment. And let's go ahead and take a look at the PDAs. All right, so here's the real life location. Now this is gonna be really, really close to Shelby, Montana. And as you can see, the map on the left is actually rotated a little bit differently than the one on the right. And what I mean is the map on the left is taken with true north going north, right? Like a real map. Now the one on the right, north is actually gonna be pointed east. So you have to rotate the map just a little bit to make it line up exactly, but it works really, really well. So as you can see, I mean, the main farm right there, it's almost identical. Um, you've got the tree line down on the bottom. You've got all the roads going around. Now the town in the bottom right-hand corner, that's not real. Um, location, anyway. It's a, All the points are realistic, right? You've got your shop down there. You've got a cell point um, up in the top left-hand corner of the game map. You can see that there's a cell point up there that doesn't really exist either. And then the far right upper corner, you can see that that one doesn't exist either. But, I mean, all the different spots. You can see right there the main farm. The point where they have their silos, real close to Farm 11. Field, field 5 has the little area right there that's an actual real place. So, I mean, it's really, really cool. So, let's go ahead and do a flyover really, really quick. So, alright, you can see this is the main farm right here. The three buildings that are very, very similar in location and um, looks to it. Um, Mapper's Paradise has even put out um, some building packs of these um, buildings right here. Really, really awesome. Um, I don't know how realistic all the houses are around here, but it's still really, really cool. The main shape of the farm is the same. You've got the same silo right here that they use. Um, this is the main field that you uh, are going to start with, and it is absolutely huge. I mean, gigantic. Look how big that is. And then you've got this other field over here that's massive, and this will take you literally hours to complete. Um, there is a plane flying around, so let's get away from that. But over here, I wanted to show you this too. Welker Farms uses a secondary silo system over here, and you can see there's a lot of equipment scattered around like they have in real life. The silos are here. You've got some points that you can buy some things, more storage right there. I mean, really, really awesome here on this map. Um, it's, you know, you can combine these fields together. I mean, that's another really, really awesome thing about this. You don't have to keep them all separate, but they are just like they are in real life. You've got the telephone poles that are going through here that you're not going to be able to... Uh, uh, put any crops or anything right next to them. I mean, it, it's so, so realistic. You get down here on this bottom side, you've got a little bit of a, a water feature right here. You know, you come over here and you got a little uh, lake, some more storage options over here for you. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a really, really good job by Mapper's Paradise on this map. Um, like I said, if you really want to use some big equipment, this is a great map absolutely great map and it's i mean it's so flat just like it is up there um i i really can't say anything else more about this map other than it's really really awesome um i really enjoy playing on this map it's just um it's it's tough sometimes if i need to make content quickly to be able to play on this map but i have enjoyed playing on this map in my spare time as a separate game save so Let's um let's go to one that I've used in some series before, and it's a very popular map. Um, it's gonna be in Minnesota. Number three on the list is another map by Mappers Paradise, and it's the Millennial Farmer map. The Millennial Farmer map is a really really awesome map. I mean, they we even went into so much detail. As back here, you've got the swimming pool and everything like that. So really 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 awesome. Um, you've also got a really, really nice silo right here that Mapper's Paradise has released as a standalone mod. Um, there's a little bit of trickiness to this silo whenever you first 
get in here and start using it. And I've got another video showing that off. Um, actually, a couple videos. So if you got questions about it once you start playing this, definitely, definitely go look those up, and um, it'll you'll be able to figure it out pretty, pretty easy, pretty quick. Um, it's just a couple special things that you have to do. But I mean, everything about this map is really, really awesome. The placement of the sheds here you've got the rv sitting out back you've got some equipment kind of around here over on the side and then you walk off right here into this absolutely gigantic field um this is the way that it really really is you can see off in the distance up there you've got a cell point also that's going to be lowry minnesota which is where this is um, based around it's not exactly in the same location um, if we look at the map here from um, google earth you can see that it's it doesn't exactly look like a square. It's a little bit more of a rectangle. And if, whenever we put it here next to the, the game PDA, you can see that they had to squash things down just a little bit. But the main field right here by the house is realistic. The placement of the farm is spot on. You've got the lake down there in the middle. You've got a little farm right there at the corner. They've turned it into a pig farm here on this map. But everything is right where it should be. So you can even see over on the right-hand side of the map that you have the um, another little area that looks like a farm, and they've turned that into a cell point here on this map. So really, really, really awesome. Um, it's flat where it needs to be flat at. Um, the upper part of this map does have a little bit of a trickiness to it also. Um, you're actually able to go outside of the boundary of the map. So be careful up there, stay on the roads. Um, if you hit an invisible wall, it's intended to be that way. Um, there are signs pointing around to where you should and should not be at. So if you watched any of Zach's videos here from uh, Millennial Farms, you can see that everything right here, the drive up to the silos, it's exactly as it should be. The main road going up, I mean, there is a speed limit sign, 50. I don't know if these roads would be good at 50. You know, typically they've got pavement instead of the dirt like this, so that's a little bit different, but... I mean, everything else is spot on to where it should be. There's a lot of Easter eggs here on this map, so definitely, definitely give it a try. So let's do a flyover here really quick. What you can see right here, the main farm. Um, everything, you know, the way that the silo is structured all the way around here, it looks like it just like on the map. Um, the huge field that you have over here, it follows this water line or the creek all the way around. A little bit of hills here they don't farm. It goes up here. I mean, this is the way that it is on the map and you can see down here on the bottom things did have to kind of get um, adjusted a little bit to be able to make them work but they still work really really well you've got your bga down here in this corner and if you come up over here i'll show you that other farm that's uh showing on the real life map this is what it is here so it's a it's a farm it's a cell point there's different things going on you've got a cattle barn sitting over here really really cool you keep coming up there's another little area here to sell some stuff up here on this side and if you come across all the way over here to the other side of the map this is the invisible area that i was telling you about so i'm not actually able to go any farther you know with the landscaping tool because it thinks this is the edge of the map but right here if you take this road you got to be careful because you can go straight over to that next road that you see up there at the top right before the water but then you have to start coming across, all right? And all this area out here, you are going to be able to get to. There's a cell point right there in those buildings. The green building is a seed pickup point. Your um, cell point for the train, the silo over there, you are able to get inside that building. Um, your animal dealer is going to be right here. And then when you get over here to this side, this is where it's saying the edge of the map is. I can't go any farther. But believe me, you are going to be able to go just a little bit farther. Like that road there, you're going to be able to go on that around to the backside. So Mapper's Paradise has done a really, really good job. This map did get a little bit of, um, I won't say heat, but there were some issues with it when it first came out. But everything seems to be fixed now, so I highly recommend downloading this map if you like the realistic uh, maps because it is it's one of the best ones out there. It really, really is. But like I said, this is number three. Um, no particular order here. It's just um, we're making our way from west to east um, and now what we want to do is head south a little bit. We're going to go into Illinois. So as we head south into Illinois, we're going to take a stop here at Stone Valley X2. Stone Valley is a really awesome map made by Lancy Boy, and it was released in 2020. 
um, but it still holds up very, very well here. Um, you can see the house, it looks familiar. It definitely, definitely does. But there's a lot of other detail that Lancy Boy has put into this map. Um, huge fields, really, really big fields. And you can see a lot of the different cell points from right here around the main farm. You can see a cell point up there. If you look down over there, you can see a cell point there. And if we come down here to this corner, you're going to be able to see the other cell point over there on that side. Now, um, there are different versions of this map, but for console, you're only going to have one. And it's Stone Valley X2. Um, it's, it's really, really, I mean... I can't say it enough. He did a great job really, really bringing this map to life. It looks like it's kind of boring, right? Because there's not a whole lot going on. There's not a lot of hills. There's not a lot of things. But for Central Illinois, this is awesome. It's very, very realistic. Now, if we go ahead and take a look at the map here, you can see right here it's a little bit squashed, but it's the best image that I had. So this is the one that's actually taken off Mod Hub. And as you can see, all the points are here. So we're going to take and put it next to the one that's real life right here. And you can see real life, it's sitting just outside um, San Jose, Illinois is where it's at. And you've got the main farm right there in the middle. You've got all the different farms all the way around. Even the different um, sections of like drainage and stuff that's going through the fields, Lancy Boy has put into this map. It's an absolutely phenomenal, phenomenal map. So let's go ahead and take a fly over here and you'll see a little bit more what I mean. So once again, here is the main farm. You can see that it's got the house. It's got five different sheds that you can actually put equipment into. Absolutely amazing. You know, and like right off the bat, you can see right here, this little road that goes through. Lancy didn't have to do this, but to make it real life, he did. And up here in the top, you can see here is a little creek that runs through, a little river type thing. I mean, it's the same way that it is on the real life map. Um, we've also got down over here, you've got a cow barn. And it's got this little section, like a drainage ditch, that's running right through here. Really, really cool. Now, this cow barn does not exist on the map. Lancy Boy added it in so you would have an option for animals. But then you like come over here to this field, and you can see all this right in here. It's as it should be in real life. Um, like I said, there's not a whole lot of elevation change here. I mean, there is, but it's not like drastic. It more like dips down than it does raise up, if that makes any sense. But, I mean, this is the way that the map, the fields are in central Illinois. They're flat. You don't have a whole lot of trees. Um, whenever the glaciers came through from the Ice Age, you know, it flattened out a lot of this area and got rid of a lot of the vegetation. And the farmers have really taken advantage of that. You know, they've come in, they've cleared out things to be able to create really nice square fields, to be able to work with really, really big equipment. Um, another thing that I really like about this, you do have the multiple farms. Like this is another farm down here that you can use. It's got a silo for you. The augers don't work. You're going to put everything in there and take it out over here. But like even the detail that Lancy Boy did on this farm right here, you got a shed, you've got a house, the silos don't work, but I mean, it's just, it's, it's as you would see it in central Illinois. I'm from central Illinois. Originally, I spent 10 years of my life living there and, um, and this this takes me back. My very first video for Farming Simulator was on this map right here. And I keep coming back to this one. I really, really do. Not just because it was the first video, but it just reminds me so much of home. Um, it's it's an absolutely great, great map. But I want to take you to another one that is very near and dear to my heart also. Now, this last map, it's not number one. These are all great maps. Um, but let's head on over east to Indiana. So last, but certainly not least, is Griffin, Indiana 19. So Griffin, Indiana is probably the most realistic to, like, the way that the map actually is. There's very, very few things that have changed with, like, the outlines of the fields and things like that. And let's go ahead and take a look at the map here. And as you can see, here's the real life. And then here next to it is the in-game PDA. So, I mean, very, very few things have had to change. You've got a little bit of an issue down in the bottom like the southwest corner of the map, where it just had to get a little bit bigger, right? But pretty much everything else is the way that it is. Now, some of the fields in the middle, they split up just to make it so you can have smaller fields and not have to be harvesting such a huge, huge field. Um, but yeah, you can, combine all the, you can combine all of those back together, no problem. And um, then it's, you know, spot on. So let's go ahead and take a fly over here really, really quick. So as you can see, here's the main farm that you actually start with. And... It's really, really awesome. You can actually get on Google Earth 
and drive to this corner right here. And there's going to be something very, very similar to this. There's a silo back behind. There's a couple buildings here. You can see some semis set in here. You can see the header inside the building right there. It's really, really cool. I mean, the white fence is as it should be. You know, when you come down here, you're going to drive down this road and you're going to see this nice town. Um, this town is very, very small. About 300 people, 350 people maybe live in this area right now. And a really, really interesting about, thing about this uh, town is this road right here, I believe it is. Either this road or this road is called Tornado Street. And the reason is because there was a tornado that came through and it was called the Tri-State Tornado and completely obliterated this town. Um, nothing was left. Absolutely nothing, nothing was left. Um, and yeah, it's just a really, really cool history on it. We did a live stream series here on this map. Had a blast, absolute blast. Um, huge fields, if you want those, all the way over here, or you can have an even bigger field over here. You got a little bit of water down in this area. Um, there is an interstate that runs right there, as you can see it. That's actually going to be Interstate 64. Real life, you know, on the map, you can see it, no problem. Um, old farmhouse sitting right here, really, really cool. The dino right here is actually called the Depot Diner. A great place to grab some food. Um, you've got the Posey County. Um, co-op sitting right here doesn't look exactly the same but it's in the same location um, the railroad track doesn't exist anymore but it's where it used to run at whenever it was still operational they've removed it since then but still there um, yeah it's an absolutely great great little map um, like I said you can combine fields together I mean all four of these fields five of these fields right here can be all combined together into one you can do the same thing over here combine these these two can be joined together. Um, down over here on this side, same thing. These four fields can all be joined together very, very easily to give you that feel of a real, real location. Um, even this creek that runs right through here is as it should be on the map. So, great job. This, actually, this map was actually made by AJ Farmer. So, congratulations. First map that he put out. But that's going to be it, everybody. These are the top five maps that I feel are the closest to real-life locations here in the United States. Now, once again, these were not in any particular order at all. Um, there are other maps that have taken bits and pieces from different areas and put them all into one map. But these are the ones that if you look at a PDA and then you look at the real-life location on Google Maps, it's going to match up almost 100%. Um, phenomenal, phenomenal maps. I mean... You, you can't get much more realistic for console uh, maps than what you're seeing right here on this list. So if you enjoyed this video, go and give me a thumbs up if you would. If you want to be kept up to date of any other top videos that I put out here, I've got a lot of other content that we do too. we got a live series. We've got some uh, other gameplay series that we do. We do a lot of tutorial stuff over factories, over precision farming. I look at a lot of tips and tricks on how to be more efficient on your farm, how to save money different things like that, tons of different content. If you're interested in any of that at all, think about hitting that subscribe button. And if you do, make sure you hit that notification bell too. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.